Pat Sullivan's mark on the state's football community is indelible. As Auburn's quarterback in the late 60s, he went 2-1 and one against Alabama in the Iron Bowl. Pat Dye remembers those showdowns well. My greatest memories of Pat Sullivan uh, are horror story because I was coaching at Alabama. Of course, Dye eventually became Auburn's head football coach and quickly focused on recruiting Sullivan to his staff. He was the first guy I tried to hire to coach quarterbacks. And... Uh, and it didn't work out. Dye said the timing was not right, but five years later, the football bug bit Sullivan, and he worked as Dye's quarterback's coach for six seasons. His 28 years coaching included eight at UAB. Current Blazer head coach Bill Clark considered Sullivan a close friend. He would come on Thursdays a lot and just hang out and watch practice. We've been doing that the last couple years. Would sit up in my office or would sit down. He just loved football. And, um, you know, great, great player, great coach, but a better person. Both championship coaches say the state has lost so much more than a football legend. I think the kind of man he was trumps anything that he did from a standpoint of coaching or playing or anything else. I mean, he was just a good, a good, solid Auburn man. Before his Heisman Trophy winning days on the Plains, five years in the NFL and three decades coaching, Pat Sullivan made a name for himself at Birmingham's John Carroll High School where that football scoreboard bears his name to honor his legacy for generations to come. In Birmingham, John Papke, WVTM 13.